In honor of his hometown, Lugos, Hungary, Bela Bosco changed his name to Bela Lugosi. It was his 1927 turn on Broadway as Count Dracula that made Bela Lugosi a star. And by the way, he got as much fan mail as the current series Twilight. Vampires were the bee's knees even in the 1920s. So when they went to make the film in 1930, Universal didn't want to use him because he wasn't a household name yet. In the end, they went with him, and rumor has it that picture saved Universal from bankruptcy. In 1933, they made the film Frankenstein and offered him the role. He turned it down, and it went to a gentleman named Boris Karloff. In 1934, the two of them made a picture together, Black Cat. Boris Karloff got top billing, and a lot of people said that Lugosi did not like him because of this. Actually, other sources say that they were great friends, but he was still miffed about the billing issue. In 1948, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. They went to cast Dracula and looked him over because the director thought he was dead. He ended up playing the role, so don't worry. Due to his drug addiction, he didn't get many roles after that, but in the end starred in Ed Wood Pictures. Fun fact, Martin Landau actually won an Oscar for playing the part of Bela Lugosi in the film Ed Wood. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.